The threat of war with North Korea doesn't disrupt playtime at Shin Yonsan Elementary in Seoul, and it's not because they're unaware. Students here learn all about their northern neighbors in class, but not in the same way their parents did. North Koreans will also become nervous if war breaks out. We should also try to understand where North Koreans are coming from and show them respect so we can move towards unification through compromise. A very different perspective to that previously taught in South Korea. For educators like the school's 58-year-old vice principal, the transition hasn't been easy. I used to think of North Koreans as being totally different people from us. I thought they had horns sticking out of their forehead and have sharp teeth like monsters, because that's how I was taught. Over the last 15 years, there's been a conscious move, strongly recommended by the government, to alter perception here of North Koreans. It's all part of the ultimate plan for reunification, to humanize their neighbors so that regardless of any belligerence that might come from the North, South Koreans will be able to distinguish the leader from his people. In television shows like this one, North Koreans are no longer portrayed as villains. That this has become one of the most popular programs on air is being taken as a sign that South Koreans may now be more open to their once hated neighbors. After the collapse of the Eastern Bloc, South Korea declared victory over North Korea because of its economic development and international recognition. They felt confident enough to lift the social taboo against talking about North Korea freely. So the next generation here is being raised to no longer fear or inherently mistrust North Koreans. But what they're learning in the South may not make much of a difference in the long run unless similar lessons are also being taught across the border. Margaritigas, Al Jazeera, Seoul.